Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about developers in companies who see them as a cost. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, what do you think about companies that see their developers as a cost center? Well, I would say that my experience with this, because I've been in a sort of this position, is that uh, you very quickly get, I'm not saying a poison, I mean it did work, it, it, it was working, it's just that it's, this is the sort of, these are the sorts of companies where only, I argue, the code monkeys survive. If you have any idealism, if you have any desire to do well or to push things or so forth, and you have a idealistic way of looking things, and you have problems with the 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 facade, as I like to call it, which is the it's just so it's a it's not something that should feel all that weird to anybody. It's the it's the corporate bullshit, as I like to call it. It's the it's the veil of um, what we say and what we do. The difference between that between those things. Um, in any company, you again, unfortunately, quite with quite a lot of people, you have these people who, uh, e the, I, I like to say, either they are, they, they are either uh, consciously manipulating things in their favor or in their like, to favor them in some way which is i think a very like it's it's a, to me that is that's hard it's hard for me to deal with that uh, or they're unconsciously doing it which is the case when you're basically incompetent or a very a person that unfortunately does really well in a corporate environment and the companies where you look at developers as a cost center that's usually the companies where I like to say that uh, the sales department are the ones who run the entire show there's no balance of power usually uh, this is just me uh, I find that every company uh, has a power balance between the different departments and the three the three main departments are usually sales engineering and design those are the three departments, uh, or like product, uh, if you will. Uh, you could switch out design for product instead. So there's there's a range of things at the very least. And most companies are run, depending on what the power structure looks like, they're run primarily by one or the other. Uh, say an example would be that if you look at the way that Microsoft runs its company versus say Facebook and Google and Apple and so forth you can see and would say and then you take like something like uh, a company such as Oracle and so forth you will start to see that the company branding and the way our Amazon and so forth like they usually have different approaches and different power structures of who usually has the final say in things and in my experience at the very least the companies and that doesn't have to be at that scale it can be at the lower scales as well uh, it's usually when the company is all about sales where the developers are treated like a just a it's nothing it's the same thing with the product development like they're they're just complying with whatever the customer wants uh, or what rather not even what the customer wants what the salespeople want that's my experience and as I said, this is not a bad thing because if you have a healthy distance to th to the fact that you, if you are okay with being underappreciated and not being valued, or like if you don't have a need of being that, I mean there are ton. I mean it might sound to some people like this is the weirdest thing in the world, but if you wanted to try that on, remember that there are people who work in say uh, customer support or things like that, or in call centers and so forth, where you mean you don't it's like you would have you you know that nobody cares in management about you because you are a cost center for most for vast, the vast majority of companies you are just a cost and you fulfill a function so you don't really get that sort of appreciation i mean it's no different from i mean if you work in the fast food industry or so forth like it's it all comes down to your perspective on your role and the work that you do so if you are a software developer, and many many people are like that, where you treat your job as your job, 
and if you're lucky, and uh, that was the case for me, you get to work with people who are really nice to hang out with. I usually say that if you have a good group of people around you, you can almost endure any circumstance. And I find that over and over I see people working under very shitty circumstances where they're underappreciated, they're underpaid, but they kind of endure, or they enjoy, actually, in many cases, enjoy their work because they're doing it together with people they enjoy working with. And I think that that is the thing that uh, you kind of have to be that sort of person or have that sort of environment to enjoy working in a company who see their, uh, like their developers as a cost center. If, because if your desire is to change the company or be some or be all you can be or push things, it's very unlikely that you're going to find all that much traction in such a company. Now, I know that because I feel like this is a bit of a leading question. You might want me to say something like, "Oh, this is absolute bullshit. Why in the world would they do this? It's just stupid. They're going to lose all their business, etc., etc." And the fact of the matter is that yes, in some cases that is true, but in many cases that's also not the situation. It's a matter of fact. I'm very sorry to be the guy who has to tell you this. There are companies every single day who have really shitty products, really shitty digital systems, and it really doesn't, at the end of the day, matter in any significant way to you as a software developer or to the to the company. I mean, it could matter to the company. Some companies actually go over or they go under because somebody uh, creates a disruption in their market or somebody comes with a better offer and so forth. But in many cases, you have systems that are really, really shitty and companies who really don't care about IT and they simply don't have any competition in the space that where, where the the benefit of good software development actually gets gets to kind of show its head. Because that's the thing, right? And that's something I think that we, even we software developers, we, we, we tend to forget that. It's the same sort of problem in a different format as I like to say when I uh, talk about when I say that if you are a very passionate software developer and somebody asks you to build a shed, it is a very bad thing for you to try to build a skyscraper instead. Because you, you, you're, you're making the job about you, not about what's good for the customer. And if you go to a company where they have a sustainable business model, where they have a shitty old system that just kind of does its thing and they, they, it kind of works, then of course you're never ever in that in such a company going to find someone who's going to go like wow we really need to fix this we need to uh, like to shape up and so forth because it's just like they're not at the scale of google they're not in one of the they're not at the frontier where the benefits of high um, high uh, value software development is actually even felt because they're at such a low end level of software development that they don't even care enough to take care of their systems because the systems aren't really like at the end of the day they're just a means to an end for them and they don't really have any thoughts on how they could leverage software developers and so better software development to make even more money and that's the i would say this is the key insights for a lot of people you see you keep hearing, especially if you're on the internet and you're aiming to become a software developer, that software developers are like human gold and like coding is the new is the future and like there's where, that's where all the money is. Yes, for the people who can figure out how to convert all those software developers and all the, that code into money, and a company such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, etc., etc., they know how to do that because their business model and the thing that they're doing is actually very effective for uh, converting coding and engineers into money that like they can basically do a very good a simple equation saying the more software developers and the talents we have the more money we're going to make but remember there are many companies where that's just not true their money is coming from i don't know how many sales people representatives they have or how many contracts they sign etc etc and the software it's just this thing they have to have to enable that and that is one of the key things that you should figure out where would you want to work so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, I don't really have an opinion on companies who see their developers as a cost versus something else. The reason why I don't form an opinion on that is because I don't want to project my values and what would make me happy onto somebody else. All I can tell you is that I've worked in companies where they make their 
products, they, they have a value system where they say that the better our software developers, the happier they are, and the better code we produce, the better for our company. That is usually a very engaging environment. There are pros and there are cons with that. And if you work in a company who just look at you as a cost, it's usually because they prioritize some other department. It's usually sales. I usually say the, the, the hierarchy in almost every company goes sales, engineering, design, customer support at the bottom. That's usually, the, in many cases, the structure. And that is for a very good reason, because sales is all, in many cases, the thing that is going to make the company money. And if you are the sort of person who really do, you don't really care about being heard, you don't care about trying doing the latest and the greatest, and you're fine with working in an environment where you can just kind of clock in nine to five, do your thing, and you don't really care so much about whether or not management listens to all your ideas, then this is a perfectly good place to work in. But if you're on the other hand, very innovative and very hungry and passionate, this is in many cases gonna be a soul killer for you. So figure out which company you're in. Have a great day.